My name is Drew Richard, and I cover Japan's African immigrant community for the Japan Times. Right now, I'm finishing a story about uh, Nigerian immigrant masquerade troops. The Anambra State Union took two years to put their performance together. They imported traditional musical instruments from rural Nigeria, and they oversaw the fabrication of shipping of uh, all the other necessary accoutrements. And they also had to train a 20-strong masquerade troop, uh, which was no small task because the majority of Nigerian immigrants to Japan have had very limited exposure to their own traditional culture. But they also had a few things going for them. The last two chairmen of their organization were fairly tireless, both financially and personally, on behalf of the idea, which was something many members had judged to be an impossibility. We have some people who knows how to make the mask rate, so we consult them. It takes some months for them to finish it up. It's not something you can see easily in the market. You have to make requests that they consult it for you. The leader of the troop also happens to be the son of a very important figure in Nigerian masquerade culture. In many ways, they regarded this recent performance at the Africa Fair as their public debut. Two troops performed, one from Anambra and one from Imo State, uh, and my story focuses on the Anambra troop. Their participation represented an evolution, I think, in the way Japan's African immigrants attempt to present themselves uh, and their organizations publicly. The centerpiece of the performance, of course, is this enormous Ugo costume, this African eagle that lays an egg at the peak of the performance. In talking to audience members, I found that a lot of them were really shocked to learn that all the performers are permanent residents of Japan. If we're here and we're associating with Japanese, doesn't mean that we don't have our own culture. We don't have our own tradition. We came from somewhere and we have to promote our culture here in Japan. And I believe that if the Japanese we see truly our culture, I think it's, it's something that looks very interesting. It's something that quite everybody would like to see. I continue to be fascinated by it because I think it's part of this very unsettled public discourse about Japan's relationship to Africa. Is Japan an aid patron with a savior complex? Is it a self-conscious soft power afraid of looking like a loser if it can't situate itself in relation to China? Or is there something more hopeful taking shape here? And what part will Japan's African immigrants play? We'll see.